What's going on, plugins? Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're going to talk about the number one shooting guard in the class of 2021, Jaden Hardy. Now, this boy, Jaden Hardy, is going to the NBA G League. He is skipping college and going to the G League. So, plugins, I want to know what do y'all think about this news? He's taking the Jalen Green route, skipping college and going right to the G League. Now, I think it's going to be good because, like, why go to college when you can go to the NBA G League? Now, Jaden Hardy is a 6'5 shooting guard. Now, he's an extremely confident scorer. He's not scared to shoot. Like, he got one of the biggest green lights in high school basketball. Like, his coach, like, just lets this man shoot. Now, what Jaden Hardy does best is he's a great when it comes to iso ball man he's like one of the best iso players in high school basketball in my opinion and he has great step back snatch back dribbles like once that man get in his bag like once he gets in his in his duffel bag bro he can really like put the ball in the hoop and he's unstoppable once he starts doing his snatch backs step backs man he be on his james harden y'all get what i'm saying plugins now He's comfortable shooting off ball screens. Like he's comfortable coming off ball screens and, and getting his shot off. And once he gets hot, it's hard to stop him. Like once this boy Jaden Hardy gets hot, man. Like 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 I said, like once he's on, this boy is on. Even though Jaden Hardy is a great perimeter scorer, this boy can get to the rim. Like he has a great slashing ability to the rim, and that makes him the ultimate offensive package. Like he can shoot from anywhere, and he can get to the rim. Like, if he really keeps doing what he's doing and polishes game more in the G League, he's going to be unstoppable. Like, he already has the offensive package. Like, he can shoot from anywhere, and he can drive to the rim. Like I said, Jaden Hardy has a great offensive package. Now, defensively, he's 6'5", so him having good length and athleticism gives him a, the ability to be a great defender. I'm not saying he's going to be a lockdown defender, but he can get the job done on the defensive side. Having a 6'9 wingspan will help him defend at the next level. Like, all he needs, because in the NBA, anyway, they don't play defense anyway. So, if Jaden Hardy can be somewhat decent on defense, he's going to be good because at the NBA level, they don't even care about defense for real. If we, if we keep it in a buck, they don't even care about defense. Like, if Jaden Hardy just can be somewhat decent, not a liability to the defense, then he's going to be just fine. Now, Jaden Hardy doesn't have a lot of weaknesses, but the only weaknesses I can really see is his shot selection. Like I said, in high school, he got one of the biggest green lights. Like, this boy can just shoot from anywhere, and he's a bucket. Like, he can put the ball in the hoop, but sometimes Jaden Hardy gets a little bit too trigger happy, but that happens when you got one of the biggest green lights in high school. Like, look at somebody like Amani Bates. Bro, I bet his coach tells Amani Bates, like, yo, just shoot anywhere, y'all. I get what I'm saying? So that's probably the same thing with Jaden Hardy. His coach probably just tells him, like, bro, just shoot from anywhere because he knows he's a bucket. So sometimes he'll take a lot of bad shots. But, you know, he can fix all that stuff. Like, once he gets in the G League, he gets uh, the good coaching and the NBA workouts and things like that. They probably work on him not taking bad shots. And he'll rely on his teammates better because he's going to be playing with good competition. Like, his teammates, he's going to have, like, really, really good teammates. So I think Jaden Hardy will pass the ball more and get his get more assists and stuff like that. And he won't be too trigger happy and just shooting a bunch of shots. But Jaden Hardy being able to take all these shots, this is what separated him from a lot of people in his class. Like, Jaden Hardy has the best shooting form and I don't know, man, him, maybe him being trigger happy might have helped him because he's not afraid to shoot. Like, Jaden Hardy will shoot the ball from anywhere, which is a good trait to have at the next level. So it doesn't matter how big you are, how tall you are, Jaden Hardy's going to get his shot off regardless because he can create his shot so well. So, and I'd rather have a player like that, like somebody like Kobe. Like, that boy Kobe was not scared to take any shot. Like, people like MJ. You know what I'm saying they was not scared to take the shot like Kobe Bryant took a lot of bad shots but he wasn't scared to take the shots Jaden Hardy's not scared to take the shots that man will pull it from anywhere and I think that's a good trick to have it can be good and it can be bad at the same time because he'll take a lot of bad shots but I'd rather have someone like that than to have someone that's scared to shoot the ball y'all know like Ben Simmons like a player like Ben Simmons he's scared to shoot the ball like I need somebody that can put the ball in the hoop so I think that's good that Jaden Hardy takes a lot of shots, man. Now, I think Jaden Hardy is going to be the future. Like, he reminds me of, like, James Harden 
Bradley build. Like, I think he's going to be like a James Harden player at the next level. Like I said, man, he has good step backs, snatch back dribbles like James Harden. He can shoot lights out like James Harden. But plugins, what do you think? About Jaden Hardy going to the G League, do you think he made the right decision? Should he have went to college and played college ball, man? Let me know in the comments. I think he made the right decision because if I'm one of these five-star recruits and I can go to the NBA G League and get paid and get NBA-level coaching and play against grown men, stuff that's going to prepare me for the NBA, I'm going to take the G League route. That's just my opinion. But what do y'all think in the comments? Do you think Jaden Hardy made the right decision to go to the G League? Because I think he's going to be alright, man. So let me know in the comments. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Till next time.